This week we're going to highlight USDA's first crop condition ratings for U.S. beans of the season. We're going to take a look at short-term weather trends and also look at the latest trends in export sales. Hi, this is Brian Bastien with Advanced Trading. Let's talk about the soybean market. We moved in the middle of June here and the soybean market remains extremely volatile. Let's start out this week looking at, at the trends in the crop, crop condition index here for the U.S. USDA published their first crop ratings for beans this week. Let's take a look at our nationwide map. And what we've done here is highlight the circles uh, in different colors. Uh, the colors represent our first crop condition good to excellent ratings compared to last year. For example, if the state is, is in green, that means that the good to excellent is above last year. If the circle is red, that means that the good to excellent is below last year, and if it's in yellow, it means it's unchanged. Now, quite a bit of the beans are, are a bit better than last year, particularly across the heart of the Corn Belt. The exception is we're moving the western belt, parts of Nebraska and Kansas are below last year. But overall, as you can see, 70% good to excellent compared to 62% at this time last year. Let's now look at our, take a look at our aggregate soybean crop condition index, and it's off to a pretty good start here albeit we can't say a lot in mid-June. But at 3.75, that's uh, well above where it was last year, and depicted by the red line, and um, in line with some of those high-yielding crop years here, for example, in uh, 2016, as well as uh, 2018. Uh, but again, a lot of variability. This crop year has just started, this crop growing season has just started for beans, and a lot's gonna depend on the short-term weather trends. Speaking of weather, let's take a look at those trends. Our slides this week, as usual, are courtesy of T-Storm Weather. We're starting out here looking to precip the last 30 days, more of a proxy for subsoil moisture, if you will. Now, across the heart of the Corn Belt, Eastern Corn Belt, Northern Plains, you don't see a lot of, of dark red, which would be very dry, nor do you see a lot of dark green, which would be too wet. So overall, I'd say that they're, they're sprinkled in here, a little bit of dryness, parts of Minnesota, uh, parts of Wisconsin, here and there, parts of southern Illinois, but not an extreme situation in mid-June. Let's now switch gears, look at short-term temperatures over the next eight days. Now we're looking at temperatures here from June 14th to the 21st. Warm temperatures are forecast to persist. Now, perhaps not this, this extreme heat that we're experiencing this week, but warmer than normal temperatures. Now as we move on, the change is developing midweek to late week next week, June 22nd to the 24th. Now we're looking at a cooler pattern setting up in some rainfall. Difficult to determine how much rain we'll see, but definitely some relief from the heat moving into that last uh, week of June. Now we're looking at precip here in our final weather slide. Next 14 days, you see a little bit of dryness creeping in there, but again, nothing like down in the Southern Plains, uh, parts of Texas and Oklahoma where they're wrapping up the wheat harvest. Extreme dryness down there. But across the Midwest, parts of the Northern Plains, you can see a bit of dryness creeping in there, but a lot of uh, normal precip totals. Let's switch gears now and look at the latest trends in export sales. Now we're looking at our weekly chart here. The unshipped soybean book continues to be quite firm, the second highest in recent memory. Here's one note. USDA last week did bump up their export sales, uh, export shipments for the year by 30 million bushels to 2170, but we've already sold 2203 for this crop year. But there is one caution note or a wild card to monitor. What we want to see is we want to see these weekly liftings to China pick up a little bit because they've kind of backed off a bit recently. And the question has surfaced, will China switch from U.S. beans to Brazil beans at some point here? Looking at that unshipped book, not only to China, but also that large unshipped book to unknown, that's a risk to our export sales projection. Let's wrap things up this week looking at trends in November, soybean futures. Now we've tweaked our chart a little bit this week. We've added the year 2008. The reason is that in 2008, we did see prices very near where they're trading now. And actually, here the remainder of June, that dark blue line, you can see they crept above $16 a bushel. But today, mid-June, with November 2022 soybean futures near 1530, it's very close to the highest price ever for mid-June, again, in line with that 2008 year. So again, we strongly encourage you to work closely with your trusted risk management advisor to manage price movement. Now, if you'd like more information, please feel free to contact us at 800-664-2321. We'll put you in contact with one of our risk management consultants 
He'll be happy to visit with you at your convenience. And remember, we upload every Wednesday. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and never miss an upload. Thanks a lot. Have a good week.